Let me tell you something about talking slick. It take a real G to get a play out the game by getting in this down. And one! So wait up. You know what it is. You soft. You gotta be a true artist to talk trash. Cause you'll be looking hella weak if you can't back it up. You can't score on me. Block by Dream! Outstanding effort by the ultimate competitor, Draymond Green. See, some cats got it, and some don't. Get your ass off the court, boy. You ain't ready. Now for GP, AKA the glove, he gonna lock you up mental and physical. He wasn't just bumping his gums. He was telling the truth and getting you to believe it. <laughs> you playing now remind me of myself so much. You know what I'm saying? The way I grew up, man, I had a pops. He was a cold dude, man. They called him Mr. Mean. We had to always bag up the trash talk that I was doing or any one of my brothers and sisters because my pops always used to say, if you trash talk and you can't bag it up and you come home and you whoop, I'm going to whoop you too. And that's what made me so tough. I said, yo, I ain't going back home to my pops. I'd rather face y'all, because I know I'm gonna have to deal with him all the time. You, I ain't gotta worry about it. If I take your heart on the playground, I'm good. You gonna respect me. No matter how the game changes, there will always be a dude who out hustles everybody else. I tell you like this, number 23 is a ferocious competitor. And although many times undersized, he backs down to nobody. Man, you know, for me growing up in Saginaw, living in the house with my mom, make the NBA, college, <laughs> talking junk, all that easy. Like, sometimes she's just talking junk, and you got to talk junk back, or she going to destroy you. That just became a part of who I was. You know, when you growing up in the house like that, you had to know how to talk. If you didn't, you was going to get ate alive every day. You see, there's a real beauty in competition. We can see who can handle the heat, and those that are just melt. I used to say, man, how am I gonna talk to this dude because I know he's sensitive on something. So I would say anything. You know what I'm saying? I, you know they talk about off limits was about your mama and your daddy and stuff like that. When we was doing it, if you say something about my mama, I'm gonna say something back about your mama. Yeah. I didn't care about it because I know it ain't true. You know what I'm saying? But people are sensitive and you know the ones who are sensitive. And I used to go at them. I'm looking for any advantage I can get. It's game 61 on a Tuesday night against Philly, who done won seven games. Like, I just start talking junk to everybody to pump myself up and to get my teammates going, because I know once you start talking, it's a battle. You see, when you standing face to face with another dude, and he trying to give you an L, you better be ready to give him a 30 second check in. It's like this, man, I always thought about going at the best player all the time. I like you because you, you guard the best players all the time. That's what I did. In my day, Jordan, he was a dude. Everybody was scared of him. And then when I came along, everybody was like, man, this young dude right here, he ain't scared of that dude. Oh, Peyton Jordan having some words face to face. He gonna have to guard me just like I gotta guard him. It was like playing against one of them dudes on, on the playground. You the man, I'm the man too. I was his response back. Could he handle it? You know, Mike was Mike a dude too, man, where he'd talk back to you, you know what I'm saying? But if if he if he got you pumped, he'd go at you more. Yeah. He'd be like, man, you can't guard me. You know who I am? Black Jesus. He'd say something like that, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I said, man, fuck you. I'm gonna get in your ass every time I come and play. That's how I'm gonna ride with you. He was like, man, you crazy. You always crazy. I said, you damn right I'm crazy. I'm gonna stay that way too. You see, the mentality that goes into dominating somebody is an attitude that can't be fake. You see, you got that dog in you, that hog in you, then you ain't gonna let nobody take your heart. Green and James joying at each other while play continues. And a double foul is gonna be called. You know me and Jordan used to get down. I know you and LB getting down. What you say to him? I just told him straight up, like, you're not cut like that. Don't, don't step over me. You, I know how you cut. You're not cut like me. So stop playing like you tough for these cameras. You want to take it there, we can take it there. You know, my team look for me to be that guy who going to go at whoever. I mean, I don't always want to go at the weakest dude. You know, I know any time I can get him. When KD was, wasn't was with us, I go at KD. Yeah. I go at Russ. I, I like, I, I want the best player. I want to go at the best player. So anytime we play the Cavs, I'm always going at Brown. He the head of the snake. But if I can get him, get in his head, get him in his feelings, then we on our way. Everyone got their own way to hustle, man. But at some point in time, it comes down to your mentality. 